Hi right, class, my name is Mohammed Prince. This is my week six discussion post. Overview, I'm gonna go over early neutral evaluation, dispute resolution boards, mini trials, and the summary jury trial. So the uh, early neutral evaluation. The textbook states that neutral evaluators listen to legal facts of the case and then follow their legal, um, follow up with their legal opinion. The article I chose is Early Neutral Evaluation, the Start of a New Way of Resolving Probate Disputes. This article discusses early neutral evaluation. The article goes over the advantages of early neutral evaluation, um, as well as discusses how it can help someone who has an inaccurate view of the facts of their case. Um, it can help them understand how their view is distorted. Um, the news article discusses what early neutral evaluation is, what the process is like, and whether or not it is binding. It also discusses the costs and benefits of early neutral evaluation. So dispute resolution boards. Um, the textbook states that dispute resolution boards are for infrastructure projects. The boards are controlled by a panel of experts in alternative dispute resolutions. The dispute resolution board will hear disputes as they arise in the process. Um, the article discusses how dispute resolution boards are required in construction contracts and how they're used to resolve disputes within the process while the project can continue during the disputes. The news article that I found asked the question, what are Chevron and Toyota doing that other companies are not doing? The difference between success and failure lies um, strictly in the level of commitment. Companies that give alternative dispute resolutions top priority, even in cases where they're sure they're right, are realizing immense savings of time, money, and relationships. Um, in contrast, companies that let um, old litigation habits um, control their way into the process um, they might as well just go back to court. So um, mini trials. The textbook says that a mini trial, um, that in a mini trial, the case could be reviewed by an attorney, a retired judge, or a panel of three. Mini trials take a couple of days and can cost up to 10,000 per side. Um, the article that I chose is growth of the mini trial. It discusses how the mini trial has rapidly gained acceptance among corporations, um, corporation executives and lawyers, both in-house and outside as a powerful new technique for setting complex civil cases, for settling complex civil cases. Um, it states that a mini trial is a carefully structured and refined method. Um, it enables the parties in a dispute to settle the merits of the case. The news article discusses that corporations should weigh the costs and benefits of a mini trial, showing an example of how a two day mini trial helped resolve a dispute and end litigation, showing that it was less expensive to pay a plaintiff a settlement than go through a lengthy and expensive legal process. Summary jury trials. The textbook states that a summary jury trial is a non binding jury trial. The jury, act, uh, the jury tasks are shortened compared to a real trial. Both parties have an hour and 15 minutes to, to discuss their cases. If the discussions cannot resolve the conflict, then the case may go to a full trial. The article discusses the types of cases suitable for jury uh, summary jury trial and how such cases can be managed before, during, and after the procedures and how the summary jury trial should be used to facilitate equitable settlement, settlements. The news article that I chose discusses the benefits, the drawbacks, and the road forward for summary jury trials. The sur summary jury trial isn't perfect. We know from mock trials that it can matter when details are sacrificed. Still, juror reactions to the basic outline of the story in the case can be essential. If the main reason a case refuses to settle is that one or more parties to the suit have unrealistic expectations of what those reactions will be, then summary jury trial is a tool that um, ought to be more useful um, and more often used to break that barrier.